Hey there, welcome to my review for Star Wars Rebels most recent episode, or second most recent, because they're doubling up on episodes this season. But anyhow, today's episode is the is Kindred. So I keep in mind to put that in front of it, but it's just Kindred, not that Kindred, Kindred. Something I gotta remember myself. So yes, so they put out the episode, so it continues the story arc that they left off with, with last week with those episodes. Um, I want to get these episodes named, um, which was, I've uploaded, I've pre-scheduled so many videos that I gotta go back a while. So the episode is Fire's Defender and Occupation, so they, they, they take from there and, uh, sorry. They they finish the storyline. It appears to finish the storyline, I should say, because I've yet to watch watch the next episode, which is called Commodores. But I'm pretty sure we'll continue it. But the main arc of of from the last few episodes, I think, was completed. The, but man, was it, this was a excellent episode. Dwarf more into the mysteriousness of the Force and all that. And a new kind of force ability that apparently the law force can do, which is looks like they can travel to the other side of the planet through a hyperspace like dimension. And I'm going to say it's force related. Don't know if it actually is, but I'm going for it. So, yes. But it was in nice. We get to see a lot more law force. We got to see Rook. Who is simply described as Swan's assassin? Uh, Swan described him as his agent, while Governor Price described Rook as Swan's assassin. So I don't think he's necessarily a bodyguard like he, Swan's bodyguard, like he was in Legends, but still really connected to Swan somehow. And apparently, Governor Price does not like him. <laughs> That's I think actually kind of apparent. Um, but there's some other nice things that they threw out there too. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that Rook is voiced by Warwick Davis. I only know that because of watching the Star Wars Celebration live streams and Star Wars YouTubers. I didn't bother reading the credits, I should have, but yeah. But so yeah, that's kind of neat. And you probably would not be able to tell because of how they changed his voice, but it was nice. Nice to see some fighting skill. So I'm still waiting for him and and Zeb to fight out because there's because I feel like there might be something between those species that that is that we don't know yet and I would love to find out more about that if there actually is anything but yeah they got the hyperdrive part they hi they retrieved the defender's hyperdrive from where they hid it or where Ezra and Sabine hid it to be more precise they put in the U-ring and Hero and Chopper go back to Yavin 4 and give the Thai Defenders fight recorder to Mom Martha. And that is where the episode ends. All we and as for for Ezra, Ken, um, Zeb, Sabine and Ryder, all we know that they do I mentioned what the lost wolves are apparently able to are on in the southern hemisphere of the planet. But there appears to be not as much Imperial presence. But yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. But there's off these structures there. It's it could be an interesting thing. Seems like we're gonna be seeing more parts of the song now. I first thought they went back in the past, but but no, they just went to the other side of the song. But yeah, I am interested in what's gonna happen. But what was neat is that Ken revealed his Jedi name to Ezra, or his name he was born with and as a Jedi. Which was which was nice to see though we kind of, us in the audience knew that, but night but Ezra finds out, and yeah, some and this is gonna be connection with Jedi, which I read as the audience knows, and the Empire and Ken said, uh, says there's something going on here, something more sinister than Tide Defenders. I know what it is, we know what it is as the audience because we've seen Rogue One. We seen, we know more what's going on. Kyber crystals. The Empire is mining kyber crystals for the Death Star. We know that. 
so yes, so there's that. Yeah, um, yeah. And Rook, uh, yeah, I could say more about Rook, but I have a feeling he's going to be appearing again more about Salon. And we saw some of the trailer clips again in here. There's cave paintings on Lothal, which I'm wondering, are those about the present? Because the, the first cave painting they saw was reacting with literally what they were doing, walking into a cave following some lost wolves. They thought they were in the past, but I'm thinking, could it actually be them in those cave paintings? An interesting thought, but the force is mysterious. And then when they end up, I find the lost wolves. There's more cave paintings. A couple of which look like Master Yoda. So, one of them could be Yoda. And maybe other members of his species. And, but yeah. It's kind of interesting. I, I can't wait to see where this is going to go. But that concludes my review for Star Wars Rebels Episode Kindred. So thank you for watching. Th my review for Call Commanders will be out in approximately 30 minutes. So, so stay tuned for that. Also subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to get notified of future content. Star Wars Rebels reviews, other Star Wars content as well. Thanks for watching and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the Force be with you, always.